So we're almost done with summer, going into the fall, new games are coming out, but we got a chance to play some games that we missed the first time around. Rob, why am I in this intro? Friends of the world, why am I in this intro? Dan, what? So I heard this amazing rumor that you have been playing Breath of the Wild. That's true. Now you can actually talk to all the cool kids at the water cooler about what the hell's going on lately in the video game. <laughs> well, as long as we're only talking about the first like tenth of the game, yes. Well, and That's then still, also the mo good. most That's of those kids have already life. beaten this game last year, so yes. you're kind of still behind. So Rob. Since Dan is playing that, let's say we all live in a perfect world and where we have this limited amount of time after our kids go to bed. Uh -huh. What are some of the games that you recommend? We actually focus our time on. Yeah. So, so the reason I have this set of games out is exactly what you're talking about. We have jobs, we have children's or cats, and we only have so much time to play. <laughs> and me as a collector, I like to buy these games, I just don't get a chance to like, you know, play them all. But there's a lull in the summer and the fall before new stuff like Red Dead and Dragon Quest and Resident Evil Remake. All these new, awesome, fantastic games that I mean, I'm going to get instantly. So this is actually giving me a chance to go back and play some things I may have like not been able to fully sink my These are all into. the popular games, though. Yes. Are you saying they actually live up to the hype? So as I've been able to have a little bit more free time and jump back into them, yes, they live up to the hype. So you had talked about Breath of the Wild. Yes. So, and do you enjoy the game? Oh, you know, I've only been playing it for like 35 hours over the last four days. <laughs> 35 hours in <laughs> four days? I mean, now, I'm not a mathematician, <laughs> but that's more than a day. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. This is the first Zelda game I've spent more than 30 minutes with other than Legend of Zelda. The legend, the legend, life. Legend of Zelda, no subtitles. So, like, as a casual gamer, like, why did this determine? Hey, I'm gonna spend my time with this game. Everybody talked about this game like it was the best thing that had ever happened to video it, it games. Almost, it could. Be. And I was kind of like, yeah, I don't want to get that invested in a game. I don't, you know, it's just not for me. I've, I, since Fantasy Star, I haven't got the, that invested <laughs> in a game. Fantasy Star <laughs> 1. Yeah, again, Fantasy Star, no subtitle. Fantasy Star. Um, <laughs> full stop. Your ass is old. Oh, man. But, like, I just, I did it. I took the plunge, and damn, if it isn't the greatest game I've ever played. It, it really is. So we'll stay on the Switch path. Switch path. Did you see that segue there? And other games that you might have a little bit more time. Oh, maybe after the later. If you'd said the, Switch back, switch that would have been back. <laughs> <laughs> so, Octopath? So, uh, I'll, I'll talk about this uh, really quick. Uh, Octopath Traveler is done by the same company that did Bravely Default and Bravely Second, which are like two of my favorite DS games. Mm -hmm. Now, the difficult part of playing this game for me is that the Switch at this house, at least right now, is being used by my wife, who is playing the <laughs> shit out of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so Team Zelda. I, I bought this day one with the pure intent of playing and using my Switch like my DS as a portable device that so I could just sit somewhere. Second. And you know Same No, I'm not gonna do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and but it's Come, almost coming down to that because, <laughs> because I'm like, I really want to play this fucking game. And then Mar Mario Odyssey's still waiting for me to finish. Still the only one with But it, she but. is addicted to this. And it's also the console that we play Mario Kart with. Now, that I, I am definitely going to play this because this is my type of game. I, I enjoyed both of the previous games that they have done and the Final, uh, Final Fantasy for Heroes of Light that they did. But, really quick, in less than 20 seconds or less, sell me on these games that everyone has been playing and why. Let's start with Resident Evil Biohazard Gold. What the heck? Gold is, okay. Edition. So Resident Evil 7 came out, I think we're at two years at this point, and it is one of the scariest, most frightful, best Resident Evil games since Resident Evil 4, since Resident Evil like 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. I missed this on the first time when it came out. But I've been playing it in VR, and on the Xbox, it's really pretty and upright. It's not in VR, but it looks really great. Mm -hmm. So if you like scary games, horror games, this is it. This is the bomb. So all the times that I've missed, I'm going back into it. Same thing with Final Fantasy XV. I picked up Final Fantasy XV when it initially launched. I loved it, and then I just stopped playing because other things kept coming out. Life got in the way, children, jobs, all this stuff got in the way. Getting back into Final Fantasy XV, it's been a lot of fun. Like, oh, okay. Is that the online game? 
no, no, no. This is the most recent uh, JRPG. Look at that, look at that the... Yoshitaka Amano artwork. Bam. Oh, wait, I'm wearing the shirt. It's the boys or bros <laughs> camping yeah, I'm wearing trip. the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it just didn't look anything like that. Yeah, this because this is the Royale edition. Not like 100 versus 1 or the hamburger. I mean, like, this is the one with all the DLC and the extra stuff. <laughs> <laughs> But see, that's the thing. These games have been out for so long that there's now like gold and different movie if it was about Big Macs. <laughs> These games have been out for so long. There's like new editions of them. Like this God of War, which Dad of War is fabulous. Congratulations, right, Star Wars. Show me on man. that. Twenty seconds or less. Twenty seconds ahead. or less. Um, pretend that you're the guy who made God of War like twenty years ago. You had a kid. And you're like, oh, I want to make a God of War game with like my kid in it. That's what. So is it two player? No, your son, Arteus, is Can't. playing with you as you play. And Wait, does is this stuff. just an escort mission? It's not an escort mission. Okay, good. It, no, but it's still like the same horrorcore, like Kratos is a mean dude and kills monsters. All right, near. dope. <laughs> did she just cut off God of War? I did, come on. That's fine. Nier Autonoma. This game is perfect. Music. Uh, it's this Yoko Taro. Is the, gorgeous. Uh, it's won plenty of rewards. There's extra DLC included. Fast action. It's replayed. You have to play it at least tw two times. Like you, the first name doesn't count. Rob, Second I don't have any count. time to play it the first time. <laughs> Sell me on it. What? What makes? What? Why, why did should you ever I play, stop? Did you ever play the original? I played the original Nier. I'm the only one at this table to play the original Nier. We yeah. went over that. You did not. No, I did not. You're right. 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 <laughs> Think of that, except better. That's okay, so play. I'm playing. <laughs> wow, you're really good at this. Yeah, I'm awesome at this. Horizon Zero Dawn. This is a game that when it came out last year, again, there's more DLC and things like that. When it came out, I played it and was like, oh, I can beat this game in 15 hours because I thought it was like Dad of War where it was just a 15 hour game. No, this is an open world, 100 hour monstrosity that I didn't realize I was going to be invested in. So now It I've is had, very similar to Zelda Breath of the Wild very, and how huge it looks it is. very similar on the yeah. cover. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, these games are very, very, like, you can't beat this. I mean, I guess you technically could beat it in an hour or two but this you cannot be quickly so now that i had a little bit of time before the next set of games comes out i've gone back to playing horizon zero dawn i've really enjoyed like woman versus robot like how everything's in the future is in the past they find relics like mugs but it just looks like you know stuff from our time it's really fun the dlc extra has a lot of depth to it it's great now monster hunter i'm kind of cheating because um I haven't stopped playing Monster Hunter. There's, you haven't. You just kept on. Well, kept the, the good thing about Monster Hunter is, and what I like about games and what I usually play now is, you can pick it up, put it down, forget about it for a while, and come back, and you're not going to lose that intuition or anything because it's one of those games that you can go out, do a hunt, and then put it down, and then do a new hunt. Oh, so not like Animal Crossing. <laughs> no, not like Animal Crossing. And I did complete this game, and then when you complete it, like even more stuff unlocks. Yeah. And I've gone th done that too. And they have events too, if you want to get into event-based ones and just maybe do it for events. Yeah, so like I will play the game and then stop for a while, and then a new monster like Behemoth from Final Fantasy XIV yep. has just came out in Monster Hunter world. So I will go back and go. So play all it. you do is just hunt monsters, monsters in There's a world. There's a storyline in a you, world. You can, I mean. Really, the game is super fun. All super right. rewarding. Uh, yeah. what's the next? You have Sonic Mania here. Why'd you bring that? Okay, so Sonic Mania, this is Sonic Mania Plus that comes with you. Remember, I actually brought my Sonic Mania with the big Genesis, Sega. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is extra DLC and the re release on the Switch. When I originally purchased Sonic Mania years ago, I got it for the PlayStation 4 because there was no Switch. And after I'm playing it and had fun with it, it was great. I was like, crap, I wish I had this on the Switch. This would be the perfect portable game. Well, I'm not going to double dip. Well, I don't have the double dip because now there's a plus edition that's out on the Switch and I can take it with me. So it's been fun going through Sonic again, right? It's like triple dipping. Triple <laughs> Oh, yeah, it kind of is. Mm, got me on oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rob does that a lot. All right. <laughs> so well, all I'm getting at is there's all these games that came out that you might have not had a chance to get into or started to get into and then put it down. I encourage you to go back through these games before the next set of good stuff comes out and play. So so these are the games that live up to the hype is what you're saying oh yeah oh yeah what's this well this is called the se to snes this is a flash card it takes uh sd card Boy, that sticker on the front looks real legit no it's totally legit it's so legit it looks like andrew printed this out this morning <laughs> <laughs> So another way that you can go back and spend, again, I'm talking about I have free time to play games before the next set of new games come out. You have three kids. I have no idea how you have free time. I, 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 in, like from 11 to 11.30 before I fall asleep, right? The other way, instead of playing modern stuff, you could totally go back and play retro games. 
there's a bit of update to the SD to SNES. As I talked about before, there's a chip on this thing and that means it has an OS and things can be, compatibility can be added to it. One of the things that come out for it is SA1 support and Super FS support, meaning I can play games like Star Fox or I can play like Star Ocean on this on this device. There also has a capability called an MSU1 chip that adds real live music orchestral comp composition anime cutscenes to games that we played. So if you're looking for something to play again while you're waiting for new things to come out, for example, you could play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, except with real orchestral music, not just copy and paste it in, but integrate it into the game, along with real anime cutscenes. Or you could play- What? Yeah. Go back to this. What? <laughs> like, you can, they added anime scenes to pre-existing games? Yes, and real orchestral music. Like, Super Metroid, which everyone here should replay once a year anyway, yeah, has one of the most, it has a great soundtrack as is, but the new MSU version of Super Metroid with this soundtrack is mind-blowing. It's like, I'm going to take time and replay Super Metroid again with this new soundtrack, Mega Man. The soundtrack is just updated. Like with an orchestra. Or, or the same. Star, the Mega Man X remix soundtrack is mm -hmm. dudes with rocking guitars. But Mega Man X is great music, but think about it with great music not a guitar. with rocking electric okay. guitars. Like a metal version, Wait, yeah. if only we had a white reference, could you give me a guitar? Yeah, because he looks like he is angrily <laughs> ripping off somebody's dick. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I got, ca I got caught off guard. <laughs> <laughs> he went to his happy place. Happy yeah. place, happy place. So, the conclusion that all I'm trying to say is while we have a little bit of time before Dragon Quest comes out, before Red Dead Redemption sucks away 100 hours of our gameplay, before Resident Evil comes back and takes all of our gameplay, let's uh, go Smash back. Smash Brothers. Before Ultimate. Smash Brothers Ultimate comes in on December 7th and takes away all your Switches, you, you're going to have two Switches because of Smash Brothers and Pokemon, before all of that happens. <laughs> I don't have one. Go back some of these classics or go back retro and enjoy some of these games from Rescue that you may have missed. Still working my way through a comic book. So those are some of the games that I'm going back to now that I have a little bit of free time before the next round of cool games comes out. What have you been playing? What did you go back into the archives and try to finish before new stuff drops? Please let us know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share to your friends. Thank you very much. And I'm going to get back to Monster Hunter? Breath of the Wild? <laughs>